Hey everybody, I would like to start today's video with a simple request. Please stop putting spend on co-branded airline cards. There are better ways to earn the miles you want. So this is something I see quite often uh, from strangers at the grocery store to friends that have decided to get some form of travel card without doing a lot of research. Uh, a lot of people have a single co-branded airline card in their wallet. So first, if you're not familiar with the term, a uh, co-branded card is just a credit card that's sponsored by two parties. One is a bank and the other is some kind of retailer or company. Uh, retail store cards, uh, airline cards, and hotel cards are all examples of co-branded cards. So now that we've covered that, Let's dig into why this is such a common occurrence, then I'll tell you why this is wrong for you and why I think you can do better. Uh, just like your friends said about your ex. Anyway, people usually end up with airline cards either during the process of booking a flight or while on a flight. If you've ever booked airfare directly through an airline, you've definitely seen the links to their card uh, as you're going through the booking process. Earn lots of points, get a statement credit, get a free check bag. You'll get a similar sales pitch on the plane as well. And sometimes rather disingenuously touted as some sort of exclusive offer you can only get on the plane. But the truth is, it really isn't. If you're patient, you can usually get better sign-up bonuses on these cards as they fluctuate throughout the year. So at this point, you may be thinking, okay, I haven't really heard anything negative so far. What's the problem? You're right, it's not that airline cards can't serve a purpose. Uh, the sign-up bonuses are great and the free check bags may offset the annual fee for a lot of people. But for day-to-day -day use, these cards lack tremendously when it comes to earning points. So generally speaking, the airline co-branded card earning structure is as follows. You'll get two points per dollar on money spent with that specific airline and then just one point per dollar on everything else. Just one. So that means you're only earning one point per dollar on the vast majority of your purchases. And that is not fantastic. Not only that, you've got a severe lack of flexibility. Those points you're earning are only good for that one specific airline. Oh, so that airline doesn't have award flights on your preferred dates of travel? Well, too bad. That's your only option. Looks like you're booking paid airfare again. This is why I typically steer people toward cards that earn transferable points currencies. Uh, the bonus categories are generally a lot better suited for daily spend as well. And sometimes the base earning rate is even better, depending on the card. If we break this down into cards for specific airlines, it looks something like this. The Chase Sapphire Preferred or any Ultimate Rewards earning card is great for United and Southwest Flyers since Ultimate Rewards can be transferred to those programs. A card like the Sapphire Preferred, however, beats the average United or Southwest card in bonus categories because it earns two points per dollar on dining and two points per dollar on travel. Of course, it's only one point per dollar on everything else, but consider how much you'd spend in those other categories. If you're a Delta Flyer, consider a card that earns membership rewards like the Amex Everyday Preferred or the Amex Gold card. The Everyday Preferred earns three points per dollar at US supermarkets and two points per dollar at US gas stations. Uh, the Gold card earns four points per dollar at restaurants worldwide and four points per dollar at US grocery stores. Uh, it also earns three points per dollar on airfare booked directly through the airline, so that's even more than what the co-branded card would earn. Uh, membership rewards can be transferred to not only Delta, but to Virgin Atlantic, which usually has better rates for booking flights on Delta Metal than Delta's own, uh, their own program. So if you're an American Airlines flyer, well, uh, 
I'm terribly sorry. Uh, your options aren't the best. There are some workarounds that you can do, uh, different alliances, but that's a video for another time. At any rate, I hope I've made my case and you'll stop spending money on that co-branded airline card. If you find value in the free check bags or priority boarding, then by all means keep the card, but there are infinitely better ways to earn points with your daily spend. So consider a transferable points currency card and just keep the airline card for the benefits or get rid of it altogether. Uh, that's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm.